We are about four drinks in at Red Wing Heritage, <laughs> New five, York six, City. Seven. Five or six. And so we are finally loose enough and ready <clears> enough <throat> to film the best Red Wings video. This is what has all been leading toward. And I am here with three extremely special guests. Uh, Kyle, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, my name's Kyle. Uh, I work here. I'm one of the associates here at Red Wing Heritage, NYC. I'm CJ. I am a Red Wing collector. I'm Joe. I just saw these guys filming from outside and decided <laughs> to walk in and give my two cents. Joe is the proprietor of Red Wing Heritage in New York City. He's much more important than he's letting on. CJ is also much more important than he's letting, in, letting <laughs> on. He has his own YouTube channel all about Red Wings. I encourage you to subscribe it. Kyle is about as important as he's letting on. Probably a little less. <laughs> so we are going through the five best Red Wings. A caveat, I know we're on the, red, on the internet here and you know, best lists do very well. <clears throat> what we've done here is we've collectively largely agreed that these are the best Red Wings. Ranking them from five, four, three, two, one, that's something that some of us aren't easy with doing. But we're gonna say all of these are absolutely fantastic Red Wings, and there are some interesting, kind of violent disagreements we've been having uh, before the cameras rolled as to which is the absolute best. We're, we're beefing pretty bit. hard. But let's start with uh, the fifth best, which is, uh, well, okay, not necessarily the fifth best, one of the five best. 1907 is great. This is obviously a worn pair. I think this is about 11 or 12 years old. You know that? It's classic, it's got the, the double welt, uh, Copper rough and tough. Most popular leather in the company for a reason. It, uh, you can see how it ages. Nice leather laces. How is this different to the normal, the other mock toes that you'll normally find? Because this is not the same as like the uh, the 875 with a different So on a modified last, on a slightly different last. Um, it's double welted. What does that mean it's double welted? You can see this has a single welt there and it's double welted. It's a little stiffer when you're first breaking them in. And it's a little um, water resistant as well? It's a little, it's a little more water resistant, doesn't let water in as easily. A little stiffer, a little sturdier. It comes with a footbed too, which is uh, important to note. So better shock absorption as well? Better shock absorption. Better water resistance. A little more sturdy. Yeah, well we sell this as the classic mock with footbed. Yeah. In addition to having a Norwegian storm welt, which uses a single piece of leather folded over, and stitch to the upper and the lower. Eh, just kind of like helps it keep yeah. water out from yeah. the inside. Yeah, that's um, like the best like old world totally. way of waterproofing a boot, yeah. Totally. The 1907 is without a question the best value in our line. A, it comes with free laces. It comes with leather laces. It comes with a leather insole that we normally sell for like $40, yeah. right? 40 bucks. And it's Norwegian welcome. And it's a Norwegian one. So you're getting like, right off the bat, you're getting $50 worth of shit for free because the 875 is 280 bucks. Yeah. This is 300, I want to so say. That's 290, I $290, yeah. $10 more. So for $10 more, you're getting $50 worth of free yeah. stuff. With the laces, set of laces, with the right? Yeah. It's more water resistant. There's a lot going on here with the 1907 than leads on. It's a really, really, really good bargain. I'm just gonna put this out there for anybody who is interested in buying a pair. You should get them a little on the small side. Take the footbed out. Wear them for a month or two. Let them mold to your foot. Then put the footbed back in and you'll probably be the happiest you've ever been in a pair of shoes than you've ever owned. Would anybody disagree here? Have you ever tried this? I have it, but that sounds like a great idea. Sure, it totally is. I, he's, right. he's not lying. He's yeah, not, he's, not from, he's telling the truth. Red Wings mold to your foot the more you wear them. And if you have something that's gonna prevent that, like these footbeds, keep them out for a month or so. Yeah. They're gonna ultimately end up a little bit too big after you wear them and this, it's how they look 10 years down the road, or 11 years down the road. Really, really nice shoes. I love it. So number five, don't discount number five. All right, number okay. four. I mean, another of the five, right? <laughs> we're trying not to rank them. Yeah. This one, the 877, this is an eight inch boot, and this is, some say it's the most iconic Red Wing. Totally. I know there's some disagreements, but like yeah. at Red Wing HQ, there's a giant statue, isn't there, totally. of this exact boot, right? The world's largest Indeed. boot. Yeah, yeah the, the world's, world's, world's largest, largest boot. Is it, is it an actual yeah. giant boot? It's not boot, a statue, it's like real leather. It's it's real. Leather. No, it's, it's the world's, world's largest, largest boot. Unbelievable. Yeah. So the world's yeah. largest yeah. boot is this one here, the 877. It's an Oro Legacy leather, which is a very, very famous beloved leather. 
Um, and it's eight inches tall. I just got my first pair of these actually a couple months ago. I'm really enjoying them. I was kind of surprised at how sturdily it like kind of grips my foot and my ankle. Like I'm so well supported yeah. in this. When I'm walking around, like it feels like it should be uncomfortable, but actually it makes me feel like unstoppable. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it secures the foot so well. It yeah. pro provides so much protection uh, and it also looks insanely cool. And the plus is totally. that, that leather, is leather lined and the leather continues around. So there's not a break as you have in this mm. or break in. It's just yeah. one piece that goes. Yeah, so to CJ's point here, this is uncommon in anything outside of an 877 where right above the welt, right, on the first half of the upper, it's one piece of leather that wraps it up. Where most people think that an 875 is just a cut down 877, but it's very clearly not. Yeah. yeah. Right? So these break in much more easily. If you've got a big wide foot, it's much more open to you. But no. yeah, the 877 is a really good boot. And, and more really, than just a tall moxer. Totally. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, we are now in clinch territory. Uh, we're, at the, we're at the top three. Yeah, Probably the most getting, popular. Now we're getting tricky. Yeah. Iron yeah. Ranger is definitely a very popular move. When I'm visiting here and people come in, they're like, can I try the Iron Ranger? I would say on your channel, my channel, there's a lot of hits for the Iron Ranger. Yeah, I people think it's my most popular uh, Red Wing review. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, one of the, it's one of our boots that people like know by name. Like a yeah, large yeah. population of people will come in and say, I want to try the Iron Ranger. Well, because it's the only one here that hasn't. Aside from Blacksmith. What well, are you talking about? Well, that's, that's directly. This is Amber Harness? That's Amber. Yeah, that's yeah, just, yeah. This is the same boot. Let's just point out this is the same boot. We're talking about 8111 is the model here. So the Iron Ranger comes in for a variety of leathers. But the 8111 is the Amber Harness leather, which is, uh, that is like the iconic leather for this particular boot. Why do you guys think the Iron Ranger is so popular? Because people like the rugged look. That rugged style, I think. That cap toe. Yeah. And also like other stuff as well. Like the cap toe is obviously like a big part of the aesthetic. I think people underemphasize like how like the, the shiny nickel eyelets, like those also make for like a more rugged and tough look as yeah. well. There's like the, the dull gilt eyelets on the on the back front door and anything else. Like it's it's that combined with the full grain leather. It's such a casual boot. Like where it fails is it's not especially versatile. Like it's a, it's a firmly, firmly casual yeah. boot, right? Yeah. Um so that some people consider that a downside. If you want a pair of boots, it's unlikely you want to get a pair of boots to wear with like a suit anyway, right? Like, sure. you, like you want to wear it casually for for a lot of people anyway, especially the Red Wing fans and not like versus like you know Alan Edmonds fans or, or something, you know what I mean? If you come to Red Wing, you want like casual boots. And this is like just such a great casual boot. Just yeah. for God's sake don't wear it with a suit. I've seen some people try and it's like, yeah. It's yeah look I wouldn't say it fails, but I would say that when I talk to customers who come in the store, I would say, look at dude, I go, if you buy this boot, somebody from two miles away would be like, hey that guy's wearing iron boots. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 it's very apparent. Yeah. Like, it's not that it fails in anything, it just is so obvious. But the interesting thing is, look at the difference. Between, these are the same exact boots. Day one, day 900. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? It's yeah. a really good looking shoe. All right, we're at the last two here. Uh, and if we call either of these the best and the other one the second best, and these guys are going to matter each other. <laughs> so we're just going to say they're both the best. Well, they're different. They're, they're different boots. Different. Now, the way you phrased it earlier, Joe, you said that the 875 Red Wing is the most iconic, and the Blacksmith is the most most popular. What did you say, what did you say it was? Accessible yeah. is a good word. Accessible, accessible. accessible. accessible is the most good iconic word. and the most accessible. Yeah. This is the Blacksmith, the Red Wing yeah. Blacksmith. So we're going, the last two of the best Red Wings is the 875 Mark Toad, the sure. Legacy Leather, and this is the Blacksmith boot. Oh, what number is this? What leather is this? That says 3343. Yeah. Which leather yeah. is it? Is this copper? Copper. Yeah, copper. this is copper rough and tough. This is just like, some would argue the perfect casual boot, and this is like sure. the, the perfect like plain toe boot. It's innocuous, it's more subtle, it blends in more easily. Yeah. And so basically it's like some people want that from a boot, they want just like a like a, a, a timeless kind of a masculine speaks for itself sort of design. <laughs> I was thinking this isn't exactly a loud boot, but it's another boot that stands out and you say, hey, he's wearing those red wings. Sure. Yeah. If you were to pick the perfect Nike, Silhouette, right? This is the equivalent in red wing terms, right? You'd say like, oh, is it a Dunk? Is it a Jordan? Is it a- Air Force One. Air Force, Air Force One, one, right? Like, this is the best red wing. This is battling for the, what's the perfect, just general silhouette of a shoe? 
period. I mean, how can you argue with a super easy, well-made, non-in-your-face, innocuous, regular boot? I mean, what is wrong with this? <laughs> right? That's a good point. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's just well done. It's simple. It doesn't scream anything. It doesn't say, oh my God, he's wearing red wings. It's a perfect boot. So these are tricky. Is it a perfect boot? Is it a perfect red wing boot? This is the best red wing. Well, the thing is someone will say, oh, I like your boots. What are you wearing? Versus this one, they'd be like, oh, he's wearing red wings. Exactly, this one, like, exactly. If, if, you, if you want to go home from the bar alone, wear these. If you don't, wear these. <laughs> yeah, dude, sure. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like, if you look up boot right. in the dictionary, you're going to see this picture. Exactly, that's right. my point. If you look up boot in the dictionary, you're, you're going to see, see this. That. Yes. Yeah. Right. And your contention earlier, CJ, was the black is the most versatile. Red most totally versatile. is the most versatile. Most versatile. Okay, okay. Absolutely. You dress it up, dress it down. It's exactly. It's going to look great. Doesn't you can, matter. You can, wear, you can pull these off with... With wool trousers, you cannot do that with these. Totally. Jeans, they look great. Just, these are just versatile. But, 100%. Like, that's a boot. This is a boot. When I say be a boot, I'm meaning this! That's the thing, that's <laughs> the boot. This is the, this is the ultimate boot. But, what's the best red ring? I gotta, I gotta stand by the 875. That's, that's our flagship. It boot. is synonymous with Red Wing. Totally. Like when you think of Red Wing, yeah. you think of the it's 875. It's the Aura Legacy, it's the 875. Yeah. Totally, man. It's like picking the best Nike or Adidas. It's the flagship, it's the hallmark. Totally. It, it is the one. But right. I lean towards the blacksmith. But again, like I was saying before we even shot that it's, it's so subjective. Style is so subjective. It's hard to make that concrete stamp in the ground. But for me, the blacksmith is my blacksmith. favorite. In, in line, in line. Sheet. Yeah, all yeah. the blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that's our list of the best Red Wing boots. Uh, obviously, it's a controversial topic. We're fairly happy with this top five. Definitely in the comments, let us know what you think is the best Red Wing boot and why, because the why is really important here because yes. it's so insanely subjective. But we've had a really fun and also kind of scary time uh, just <laughs> d debating and arguing here <laughs> as to which is the best Red Wing. We land on these five from the Red Wing store. I can't say this is the official Red Wing uh, picks for the best boots, although we are in the Red Wing store, so I'm just gonna say it's the official. Close as it gets. This is the official Red Wing <laughs> listings of Red Wings. Yeah. Stamp of approval. That's it. <laughs> Comment below with your favorite Red Wings. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to CJ's channel. I'll put his channel in the description below as well. He's all Red Wing all the time. And follow us on Instagram. And follow Red Wing, Red Wing NYC on Instagram as well. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys.